Are we scripting anything? No. Okay. We're just, I'm just letting you, letting you fly free, <laughs> which so might scary. be a mistake. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rachel, but you can call me Rach. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so subscribe if you wanna see more of this face. We have a very special guest today. This is my mom, and we're gonna just do our makeup together. I am going to be using only her makeup product, which has me very nervous. I'm not very happy about having to be filmed without <laughs> my makeup on, but. So like, I wanna do your routine. My routine depends on the outcome of the day. Okay, so. well let's just do like like your every day, like, but you're trying to like look nice. Like you have like a meeting okay. to go to, so okay. you're like trying to look A cute. little more than just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> than just eyeliner in the car while you're driving. Which is what I'm known for. <laughs> I tend to be very minimalist as mm -hmm. far as steps. It makes me nervous when I watch your application videos. And they're like really the long. multi-layer <laughs> thing. So I tend to be very simple. My kick recently has been to not wear makeup. But that would be like a three minute video. So yeah. let's, let's maybe we'll, we'll do a little, little more. more. We'll do a little more. I've already put on sunblock moisturizer. Okay. Like yep, that me is too. absolutely every day important. She um, taught me that. One of my favorite products, and you you will like this too because okay, you inherited the dark under eyes from me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, this is a little product called Olay Eyes. Okay. What I like about it is it is supposed to be not only a little bit of a concealing product, but it also is supposed to provide moisture and- You're clicky clacking, that's just Jovi walking yeah. around on our floor. It is, um, but it also is supposed to help with the signs of aging eyes and dark eyes. So, so under- and so then just over. a little under, a little bit in the corner. You can't corner. see yourself? Do you yeah, need this? I can't see myself, but. You can have the mirror. Okay. But look, I mean like it really, kind of let that soak in a little bit. And just, again, this is like, depending on the day, this is just sure. what I happen to have today, but it is positively ageless. And because I wanted to look like I did more than just use my fingers, I did bring you my a brush. <laughs> foundation brush. I'm feeling a little bit like I was duped because I was hoping you were gonna do my makeup you thought I was for me. I did not one communicate of, the concept One of my here. favorite things is to have Rachel do my makeup because it always looks better than when I But do. you always hate it also a little bit because it takes so long. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So number one rule for me is that it shouldn't take very long. It should take makeup. How long do you think you spend on your makeup every day? Five minutes. Okay. <laughs> and most of the time it's in my car at stoplights. Sorry. Oh my gosh. And I think I put too much. So here I'm gonna go ahead and give you some now. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm trying to pretend like I know what I'm doing because I've watched you <laughs> recently do this. Rachel made fun of me like 15 years ago because of how cheap 15. my makeup was. When I was 10? Maybe not 15. <laughs> Did I buy okay. this for you? <laughs> Much of this makeup is in this bag I was... either because you left it behind and I took it mm -hmm. over or you talked me into buying it when we would do trips to, to Ulta. Ulta. Oh shoot. What? I have a primer. I forgot about my well, primer. It's too late. It's too for late. The primer. You can't. But, I thought you were about to try and put it on. I was like, no, is, no, no, no. That primer. The get poreless pore. I've never seen this brand in my life. Where'd you and get it, this? I don't know, and I need it, and it's it's running it's very running low. Out. So when you were like my age, how did you do your makeup? Do you remember? I used a little triangular sponge. <laughs> Yep, that classic. came in a pack. And actually, powder foundation was really the rave. And your Aunt Shay taught me a lot about <laughs> makeup application because she was much more like you. And, and she would buy really nice Merle Norman makeup. Merle and it was Norman. This, so it was, it was usually like a compact of powder-based foundation. Mm -hmm. And then I would look at the pictures on the back of my CoverGirl oh eyeshadows. Oh my gosh, yes. One of my friends, Suzanne, I loved the way that she wore her eyeshadow. It was this bright kind of peach shimmery uh -huh. on her whole lid and then she would do this dark navy like in her crease like <laughs> sounds and about 80s looked, yeah so top. like today people when they do like 80s makeup they do like that neon like the bright ass pink lip and the bright blue eyeshadow did yeah. people do their makeup like that for not real so much not really yeah we've been lied to so but i like the way that this feels it is nice i would apply like, it with a beauty blender yeah that would that's my only note you but, have a face but i would do it i decided this was life-changing i would Take yeah. it and, and I'll oh, do it the, and show you with this and I would go with the little thingy. Watch, look at okay, my eyes. I'm watching. And then I would go like this. Okay. And I just really felt like it the pull is it well, I just felt like it really made my dark <laughs> circles better. Yeah. Do you enjoy doing makeup? 
No. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate makeup because I feel like I've tried to make it, I've tried to evolve to the point that I think that yeah. makeup is designed to enhance instead of like mask. Do you think that that has am. changed through the years? Like, do you think that makeup is like more designed to like enhance beauty rather than cover things? Like, have you seen that evolution? Yes, absolutely. Pre-pandemic, I would have put <laughs> eyeshadow on. But in the So we're going in, I'm going to show them the oh. palette. Oh, and the so. only reason, <laughs> again, the only reason that I even have this palette is it's not because me. I would it's have never bought it. Yeah, is that I stole it from you. I buy. This is probably the first nice eyeshadow palette I ever bought. Not just like this palette, but like this probably palette that's that. in my probably, hand. Probably, probably. And I mm -hmm. found a couple of YouTube videos, a tutorial on eye or ma makeup for the over 50. Oh, you did tell me about yeah. this lady. Like how I talked about, I used to do the very sparkly. The shimmer. Shimmer. Right here. Yeah, she I mean, talked I about too. that shimmer is not very good for yeah. my And age. I feel like shimmer eyeshadow was very trendy. It was very while. trendy. I feel like makeup in general is leaning a little bit more natural. Yeah. Are you doing the crease? So with just, just above, yeah, just above my crease and just very light. The <laughs> thing that she talked about was raising, you know, like raising okay. the look to be like, and it seems weird. And I, so you see how little I'm putting. So just, it's just like yeah. to put a little bit of a shadow, like to draw the eye. And then just kind of blend it out. Just kind of, I've never seen that before. Just to kind of blend it up and out. So it looks like it the crease sense. hits there sure. instead of, because one thing I've noticed over time with age is my eyes droop this way. So you want your eye look. Well, let me do if it. If I'm feeling really, <laughs> Really sassy. I might put like a little sassy. dot of the gold like right in the middle of my lid because yep. that's a throwback from the 80s. The teeniest little. Just there in the middle. Yeah, just right here in the middle. So you had two daughters. I'm one of them. With makeup, do you think that makeup has a positive impact on young women or a negative impact? Negative, absolutely. You know, it is one of the the things that your grand your grand said to me years ago is you never will know the guilt that you'll have in your life until you're a parent. All the guilt that you have, you know, of all of the messaging that you intentionally or unintentionally convey to your children. And, yeah. and of course, Grand was a mother of two daughters as well. I wish that you all would have seen me be more willing to go out in public without makeup. However, yeah. it definitely did not impact either of you. I'm very proud of both of you that you both embrace your natural beauties. I mean, I love makeup, but I love makeup. And it hasn't always been this way. You know, in middle school, I would like slather my face in makeup, but I feel like now for me, which I know that you just cannot understand, makeup is very much like a fun artistic mm -hmm. expression. And so that's been a nice shift like in my adult life, makeup becoming a positive thing. But I mean, how yeah. do you hide how do you hide your teenage daughters? from the societal beauty standards that are set by makeup. Yeah. Like there's not... Well, and especially because of dance and theater, you know, yes. you were... And that was always well, a challenge that I always dealt joke with. with people that I knew how to do my own makeup by the time I was like seven years old. Right. I'll never forget Miss Sheila coming out and telling us that you had to have some eyebrows. Like yeah. her looking at me and saying, you gotta put eyebrows on her. I was super blonde as a child, everyone, so I truly did not have eyebrows. Yeah. Like I was very blonde, my eyebrows did not You're exist. Very right. <laughs> yeah. I think dance and theater definitely gave me kind of like a, a, not a complex, but I do remember feeling like my face felt weird without makeup right. after shows. Yeah. Like I would have this huge, this really intense face of like Whole dance thing. recital makeup, mm -hmm. and then I would go home and take it off and like look at my face in the mirror and be like, who is that? Yeah. So it was this weird thing that I feel like almost like like you felt like your face looked worse right. without, right? Like right. even as like it's a seven year old. Dad and I really struggled with that because we, yeah. we wanted you all to feel confident in your own skin. And you did obviously raise two very confident women, but yes. it is interesting the like mom guilt that happens. Do you feel like there has been a significant shift in beauty standards? Absolutely. I've seen it change over time too. When Gran was young, like Twiggy, you know, mm -hmm. ultra thin, almost boyish then like in the 80 or you know like the Bo Derek the you know voluptuous you know and Brooke Shields was you know was yeah. a thing when I was did a you, teenager. Did you want the, the Brooke eyebrows. Shields eyebrows? <laughs> yeah. I had them believe it or not my eyebrows were pretty similar. But then the 90s happened. But the 90s happened <laughs> and I was told to make my eyes look bigger that I needed yeah. to pluck them and so I plucked them and now I'm paying for that. Messaging I think has been um, unfortunately you know really I think 
traumatized into a lot of women. I think something that you and dad did right is that we always felt confident for other reasons. Right. You know what I mean? Like you always really emphasize like and did a good job of like not complimenting us on or or even even talking about the way we looked. I don't have a lot of memories of like you saying anything about my appearance. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's why we both even despite the standards and dance and and theater and stuff I feel like that's why we both are like good. (laughs) Next. Um, eyeliner. Okay, so we have um, many black eyeliners. What um, you- and, and this has been a more recent Did you buy this because of my video? I have had that. You did? I did. It's the yes. tattoo studio that I yes. raved about in two makeup videos. Yes, I, raved I, about already, I already had this. Wow. Um, but you pay so much more attention to brands and, and I just go into the drugstore and I look and I go, that looks interesting. Whole lid that okay. is really thin through here and then not follow the natural line but go straight straight out straight okay. out so that again it doesn't draw your eye down look are you mocking something in my I'm bed? just laughing at the fact that you have a lipstick with no lid <laughs> oh I have a couple of those <laughs> I do just a little bit on the like the bottom corner of my mm-hmm. eye, just the tiniest bit. I laugh and say I don't enjoy putting makeup on. I do have fun with it, like for things like that, like experimenting. Well, you can do that all, every time you put makeup on. That's what I'm trying to be more adventurous about is like the colors and mm-hmm. stuff that I do. Just because like, why not have fun with it, you know? Look at pictures and things often, like I, I realize that I like the pictures where I'm not looking at a gob of eye makeup and bright yeah. cheeks and lots of lipstick. You know, I like the pictures of us that we just look yeah. ourselves. Just how, how do you feel the most beautiful? when you spend a little time on your makeup, a lot of time on makeup, or no time on makeup? I think when I spend a little time, and I like it when I feel like it doesn't look like I have a lot of makeup on, yeah. but I still the feel no, like, yeah. The no yeah. makeup, the makeup, no makeup, makeup, makeup that is. is my favorite, <laughs> yeah. I do like thinking that someone's looking at me yeah. and not my makeup. So I think there's like the artistic side of makeup, and then I think there's like the, the like framing side of makeup that's just trying to frame your natural features. I just feel like that's like the two ends of the makeup spectrum. I think it's fun to slide between both. Do you have memories of watching like Gran do her makeup? Because I have so many memories of watching you do your makeup, like in the car and stuff. <laughs> While she's driving down the highway. Not driving at stoplights. Yeah, at stoplights. It's stop only at stoplights. I have been known to apply mascara while driving, but looking straight ahead because I can do that. I feel like my middle school makeup was very informed by the way you did your makeup mm-hmm. because I really liked that you used that single pot cover girl gold eyeshadow mm-hmm. and you would take your finger. Yep, and just <laughs> wipe it across. I literally imitated it with this very palette. So this is one I found recently that I really like, but okay. you'll see that I'm I do just looking keep at all the ones I keep, you have. Well, that's a waterproof, so that's like okay. when I'm when you know you're gonna, gonna cry be, a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I really, really like this. Okay, and you have two of them. Is I have one two of them of dried them. out? Yeah. So okay. I've got to figure out which is which. Let's find out. So. And we're and you know what we're gonna do with the one that's dried out? We're gonna throw it away. <laughs> I interrupted you, but you were telling me I was asking if you had any memories of watching Grand do her makeup and like if that informed your idea of makeup, your the way you did your makeup. She didn't wear a lot of makeup either. I think yeah. she really made me feel confident about, you know, that you just put a little. <laughs> do you remember soap. how you did your makeup on your wedding day? Did someone do it for you? Did no, you do it? No. Aunt Shay helped me. Yeah. And Graham helped me. I did my own hair, my own makeup, yeah. you know. <laughs> this is making the assumption that I have a real process, which mm-hmm. <laughs> just kind of depends on the day. I probably would have done my Eyebrows. We've like I got said, Maybelline Brow Precise. Bo- Whoa! Yeah, it's kind of a weird brush, That's and so I've weird. not had a lot of luck with it. Okay. And then I've had this that you just told me was. was I'm pretty sure it's eyeshadow, eyeshadow, but like, do what you want to do. No, it's brow crayon. It's thick though. Look at that. I know, but whose eyebrows what, are that well, thick? Well, here you go. This is whatever. Whatever, whatever you do, happens, just do. Happens, whatever so. happens. That is. I want to use this because it's weird. Okay, I was gonna say, here's what it's, it is. I use uh, this just to kind of like give me. It like looks like I'm supposed to like clean stuff with this. So. You have memories of me being bad at makeup? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I mean, bad, bad is a relative term. I have memories of you coming out and having just like ridiculous gobs of it. You can roast me. Go ahead. Well, we don't. We <laughs> the whole 
you know, dance, the dance clips, clips thing. For so sure. So we had to really work on that you don't need tons of makeup to be But beautiful. I remember a relative who I will not call out in this video calling me out for wearing a lot of makeup. From then on out, anytime I knew I was gonna see them, I purposely would wear a lot of makeup. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I think it wasn't like a call out. It wasn't like a mean call out. It was just like a, you wear a lot of makeup, but you're so pretty without it. Which like any girl that loves makeup, that's like the, your least favorite thing to hear. Like, yeah, I fucking know. <laughs> At that point, I didn't know, but I'll bleep myself. No, you won't. <laughs> okay, this is not going well. Well, here, let me this do it. This has, yeah. So like here you mean? Yeah, see in the middle, it's like, but you believe in a lot more brow than I do. I do. One time I gave mom eyebrows and she about lost her mind. I'm gonna start on my brow crayon. So yeah. So I didn't <laughs> I'm do a whole very lot scared with that. of this project. Yeah. But you do remember me being bad at makeup. But I think you always had a natural understanding of how to accentuate. Well, I always tell people it's the only artistic thing I've ever been good at. Yeah. Is yeah. makeup. I don't hate yeah. this as much as I thought, but I definitely don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you have always like aged very gracefully. But how have you done that? Because a lot of people really struggle with it. Like a lot of girls my age are getting Botox and like doing all of these things to prevent aging. Like mm -hmm. how have you always just kind of like, cause I feel like you've actively like just kind of embraced yeah. the aging process. Yeah. You've never had any work done. You've never like felt the need to. Yeah. And I just, I feel like, because as I said, I think it is so important that we love ourselves for who we are fully, wholly. So I think that it's just been a conscious choice that I've made that this is who I am. And so I think that I do feel like it's important to um, embrace who you are both yeah. inside and out and do i love looking at my face and realizing that i you know have lines in places i didn't before and sure but i try to look at it as but i earned them you know like, yeah <laughs> i mean that i've lived life and that yeah i'm you know and i'm fortunate that i've i've had the opportunity to be in the sun and damage yeah. my, you know, <laughs> damage my I got skin. to go to the beach and get sunspots. <laughs> I've been able to be outdoors and do all the things yeah. I always want to do. Well, do we do anything else? You have a little hula bronzer here. I, I have learned to love bronzer. So. Okay, so how do we apply it? Let me, let me see this, this. Little, hold on. That's how much it's left. Well, it's, it's just a little, yeah. <laughs> You and can again, go buy a new one. This is where, buy you a new this one. Is where <laughs> three weeks from now, like none of this makeup will might be in my routine. Because you're just gonna go to CVS and get some. No, new no, shit. no. I'll, I've got <laughs> I've got a different bronze. I've got five different bronzers at home. I have other. So you like to call me a product tour, but really, like you're a product tour. Well, like, but mine are cheap. I'm more worse. Yeah. So again, like in more recent days, I've been told like I need to do not on my apples, but more like up in here. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's very crisp. Yeah. <laughs> Getting called out from my studio. To this was like a dollar, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Brush literally hurts my face. <laughs> it did not feel good. <laughs> Let's get out all your lips here. We've got the NYX. And again, it depends on. Did I leave this at your house? Yeah. Is probably. that why you have this? <laughs> this is a Revlon, Just Fit and Kissable, and Crush. This is definitely mine. Yeah. I love going to visit Mac stores in other places. So like I went to the Mac store in Rome. I went to the Mac store in New York. I went to the Mac store in... Just had to have to flex on y'all real quick. All the, all the places you Canada. went. Well, I mean, but it's just, to me, it's just kind of fun. No, it is cool. It's so cool. I got a bunch of girlfriends and I went Christmas shopping together. And my friend Bonnie said, let's go to Mac and let them do our makeup. And they did the O lipstick and they did an eye. And she talked me into buying the lipstick and this Did you mask. feel hot as hell leaving that? Yeah. <laughs> but then I bought like the eye products and I about vomited when I got, cause I got all caught up in the moment. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I just spent over a hundred dollars on eyeshadow and lipstick yeah. and the brushes. She bamboozled you. She bamboozled they're very, they're very good. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was my <laughs> first, on top. I think that that was my first high-end makeup product was going back to school shopping at the Mall of Millennia and going to the Mac store and getting the Viva Glam, Glam yes, lip gloss. I think it was the first one I was allowed to wear to school. Mom didn't really let me wear makeup like 
my, not my dance makeup because that was really all I it was, had right, right. until like probably like eighth grade ish. But up until then, I was allowed to wear my Viva Glam lip gloss. Yeah. So I felt very cool with that in my purse in middle school. Yeah, like, yeah it's a Mac lip gloss. And so which lipstick do we want to use today? I would say either my Mac or the Too Faced. Let's use the Mac because I've just <laughs> I've stolen this and used it from right. me before. So is that your last step? That's it. No. <laughs> All right, guys, the finished look. I had so much fun doing my makeup with you today. Thank you for filming with me. Thank you for not calling I me out too much for my product. Would you like to send us out with any words of wisdom? You don't have to. Love, well, love the you that you are. You know. I love that. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this face. I will see you guys next time. Say it with me. <laughs> That's it. Ooh, is that stressful? Mhm. Mm <laughs>